All right, so this is a general reading for the sign of Cancer. So keep in mind with this being a general reading, if the message does not resonate, please do not try to force it to resonate. Tune back in for the next message because this one just may not be uh, meant for you, but the next one may be meant for you. So with that being said, let's get to the message. Spirit, what messages do we have for the sign of cancer at this time? What messages do we have for the sign of cancer at this time? messages do we have for the sign of cancer at this time? What messages do we have for the sign of cancer at this time? It wants to come out again. <clears throat> so, definitely meant for you guys. So, I'm saying that you guys will, I'm saying that the message I'm getting is that you guys, if you have been in your head stressed and have anxiety over someone basically that let you down, um, that didn't invest in a relationship um, over you, I'm seeing that this person um, will be headed back your way. Um, some of you guys this may and now I'm getting this is the same person. I'm getting that this person has matured. Um, this person has been in their head regarding this situation. Some of you guys I'm getting that you guys have both of you guys have been in your head regarding this situation. Um I'm saying in the past this person had has let you down. They didn't want to offer anything in this relationship. They were like non committal. Um they just wanted to play the field, basically. They didn't want to invest anything in this relationship. And now they have a lot of regrets um, not wanting to invest anything in this relationship. Now they want to come back with a solid offer. And there's really this person. It's no like convincing this person otherwise. It's like they're determined to head back in your direction with a solid offer. Um and to invest in this relationship is it, yeah it is like they they're determined to and it's like uh this is someone who does like they like their freedom um but it's like you can um it's like they like their freedom but they're not they're not a cheater it's like when you met them before they wanted to play the field so that's why they didn't want to invest in this relationship because they're not going to like play they're not going to be in a relationship and play you it's like if they're going to play around they're just going to be single and you know they're going to be open and honest it's like they're not going to you know convince somebody to be in a relationship with them while they're you know playing the field um but it's like even though they like their freedom i mean if you don't want to lose this person, it's like, don't be too clingy, but, um, this person is like, they're coming back to offer you a solid relationship. You can definitely depend on this person. This is someone definitely fin financially stable as well. Um, it's another message that I'm getting is that some of you guys, if your finances, um, if you guys have been struggling with your finances, it's like, I'm um, seeing that you guys have learned like uh, to put in the hard work and that your hard work is paying off. I'm seeing that you guys will see a turn in your uh, finances and it's all about um, the hard work that you put into your finances. And I'm also getting like protection around you guys as well. Like if some of you guys have been like stressed out, like you guys have been feeling under attack as well, like stress. Uh, regarding like feeling um, attacked by like certain people um, in your work environment. Um, I'm getting mainly like work environment 
um, but it could be in other areas. I'm um, getting like, don't worry, you're protected. Um, whatever is like being aimed at you, it will, it will turn back around on the people that's doing it. Like the truth will come to light. What other messages do we have for cancer? What messages do we have for cancer? Yeah, I'm getting, um, this is regarding a work environment, um, uh, where it's like a lot of gossip going on. Um, behind your back, uh, some of you guys have been dealing with, uh, like, yeah, some people spreading, like, some petty gossip, just some pettiness, but the truth will come to light, um, so don't worry about it, you are protected, it's like, the people, it's, it's really just petty, it, it probably, I'm getting, like, some young, immature people, and it's like, the people that matter, it's like, yeah, it, it's like the people that matter, um, they see what's really going on and things will be balanced out. The truth will come to light. Um, you will be rewarded for your good deeds. Uh, the, the universe will make sure that um, whatever they're trying to throw at, uh, throw at your way, it will come back on them threefold. Uh, but I'm also getting like regarding uh your past relationship this person that didn't want to invest in this relationship it's like this person coming back around and it's like now they want to uh invest in this relationship and i'm saying you know like this person wanting to you know regretting not investing and balancing things out between you um you guys the thing is, is that this person is like really focused on their finances. It's like finances come number one to this person. It's like, that's the thing. It's like their main focus is their finances. It's like, so even though they want to balance things out with you, they don't really know how to because finances is a number one priority to them. It's like they don't know a well-balanced relationship. I'm saying, I, like, I get that they have good intentions. Their intentions are to balance things out with you, but they don't have their priorities. It, it's like they don't have their priorities right in order to uh, fit a balanced relationship into their schedule. Yeah, you guys are I'm getting you guys are making a decision um, to manifest a new love in your life um, because you guys want someone you you guys want someone that is able to offer you more emotions than what this person offered you in the past. Um, you guys, it's 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 like you guys are aware that this person um, they didn't give you much, and it, it's like they breadcrumbed you. They breadcrumbed you. They were they didn't invest in this relationship. They breadcrumbed you, and they focus on their finances. They were too materialistic, and that's how you view them. That's how you're viewing this relationship. That's what you see is in their heart, like, and you feel like if that's what's in their heart, it's no change in this person. And I'm getting like, that's what's stressing this person out is because they, they realize like you view them in that way, but yet they're determined to come. It's, it's like, you're the person that they want. They're determined to come back like your way and prove that they have changed yet. They're not a king. It's like, they're still a knight. They still haven't matured. Um, 
to the man you want them to be or the woman that you want them to be. It's like they they still haven't fully matured the way that you want them to be. Um, so now it's like you will rather uh, manifest new love than continue to focus on this past relationship because it has constantly let you down. Some of you guys have been waiting on this person to come come back around for some time now. And it's like, how much longer can I wait? I'm not. I'm not going to continue to wait. It's like, I'm better than this. I'm not going to continue to wait on somebody to decide whether I'm worth investing in. I'm not going to continue to sit around and wait for somebody to decide if I'm worth working on a relationship with. No. It's like, well, continue to focus on your finances then and see where that gets you. While I manifest all I desire in life. And that's the decision that you're coming to. And then you're manifesting this new love in your life. You're manifesting someone who is coming. This person that you're manifesting in your life is like, yeah. This, manif this person that you're manifesting in your life, you guys will have a lot of chemistry between each other. It's like this person is open and honest about their feelings. You don't have to second guess the way they feel. And it's like you're able to just, they wear their heart on their sleeve and you're able to just feel comfortable with them. Um, and that's that's what you like. Um, this person is single. Um, when you meet them, they're not an emotional manipulator. And that's, it's like, they're not indecisive. They know what they want. So it's, it's like, you're done because this person in the past, it's like, they, they just, it, it was no, they didn't know what they want. It, you just, you don't see any victory in this relationship. You don't see this relationship hidden and hit it any hit it anywhere. <clears throat> it's like this person can't make up their mind. It's like they will rather focus on their finances than have a successful relationship. They can't it's like they don't realize it's like if you don't learn to balance between finances yeah, then you're you're going to end up alone. You're going to end up alone. And that's what's going to happen with that person. It's like they're going to keep playing around until one day they look up and they're all alone. Because they done chased off everybody that came their way because they kept playing these games. They can't make up their mind. It's, it's like, and yeah, you're releasing this burden. It's like, this has been a burden on you for some time now. And some, yeah, you're ready for this change. You're releasing this burden and you're ready to bring in these new changes. This has been a burden on you for some time now. Yeah. You guys are releasing this pain. It's, it, it's been a pain for you. Um, you guys realize this person is an emotional manipulator. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's like you're done with it. You realize the situation for what it is. Um, this person in the past and you guys are ready to bring in new love. It's, it's like you're healing from it. You're ready for these new changes. It's like, it's no victory in this situation. It's like, this person, they're going to end up alone. They can't make up their mind. Yeah. You know how to balance finance and love. You know how to balance your life out. You're well balanced out. You have matured to that level in your life, but this person hasn't. 
And so it's like, you're at that point where you can bring love into your life. You have healed. It's like, you no longer carry the burdens of the past. This person hasn't released those burdens of the past, of their childhood. It's like, they still have sleepless nights. They still allow the past to hunt them, to wake them up in the middle of the night and to affect them where they're not able to have a successful uh, relationship. Yeah, it's, it's like you're you're not you're cutting this person off because you realize they're not able to um, reflect back. They they're not able to reflect back on the past and learn from the their past action. They're not learning from their past action. You're ready to move forward and celebrate. You're ready for this new beginning. So it's like until the right person comes into your life, you're going to enjoy your time with your friend and celebrate your friends and celebrate, you know, your accomplishments. But it's like you're starting from scratch. You're not focusing on this person. You're moving away from them. And you know what? That's what's drawing them back to you. So and the thing is, it's like I'm getting, you know, We'll see, but I'm not drawing that far ahead. Um, I'm just drawing like the most six months. Um, so, but I'm getting, I, I mean, that's what draws love to you. So I'm getting like you guys have new love op options coming in. Um, and that's just because this energy you guys have realized, you guys have learned from the past. And you guys are releasing, you know, this person from your past that they refuse to learn from these past lessons. They refuse to go within and learn. And you guys have realized that you guys have awakened to this person um, and you're no longer holding on to the situation. You guys have released it. You're ready to start a new cycle. Not only you, you guys aren't ready to start a new cycle, you guys have started a new cycle. And that's what's drawing this person back to you. You guys are manifesting a new life without them. And they feel it. And it's making them trip out. Yeah. It, they, they realize you're letting them go. It's over. It's over. It's like you're done with them. You see something else. It's like this person is dead to you and you see something else. You envision a whole new life without them. And like this person, their energy is dead to you. And they feel it. It's like energetically, they feel it. And that's what's keeping them up at night. It's like they don't feel you energetically anymore because you have cut their energy off. And you're focusing on yourself. Some of you guys are, yeah, you guys are focused on your careers. I'm seeing you guys are focused on your health as well. You guys are getting your finances back in order, balancing things out in your life. Some of you guys are looking for, uh, you guys are starting a new career because you're not happy with the one that you're at. You're not happy with what you're doing now and where you're leading to is going to lead you to so much more happiness. Yeah, <laughs> this person is about to be tripping and they are going to be sending you messages. <laughs> yeah, because they can't stop thinking of you. Some of you guys are going to be sending you gifts. I'm getting that the universe will be sending you gifts as well. I'm getting you guys getting gifts from the universe. Blessings because of what you guys have been through uh, regarding people at your job, uh, people in general just trying to bring you down. Um, but just blessings coming in, uh, for you, uh, from the universe, but <laughs> this person can't stop thinking of you. They will be messaging you. They see you guys getting a lot of attention. You guys are focusing on your career. You guys are focusing on your health. You're not thinking about this person. You're just getting your life together and continue to do that. Um, because these blessings will be pouring in for you guys. So 
This is what I have for you, Cancer. Please like, share, and subscribe. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I'll send it right back to you. Mwah.